After careful consideration and a bit of alcohol, I've decided that teensy four there is going. This is a teensy 3.5, which uh, I've got a few of them now. I keep buying them, I don't know why. Because they're cheap and they're good for projects. This has got a shitload more analog inputs, outputs and everything else angle. This here is the TNC 4.1 that's currently installed on there and all the red ports on here are all the analog inputs and as you can see I've used every single one. There are none on the other side. These black ones here are all the digital pins that I've used for firing the MOSFETs. Well the TNC 3.5 has got, uh, so we've got some on there, we've got analogs on there, we've got analogs on there, we've got a reference there. That's the other thing I want to use is the analog reference so I can get the voltage absolutely exact. So we've also got all the digital pins that I need. It's got more than I need. So I'm going to have to take that off there. I'm going to socket it so as I can plug it in and out as I need it and tidy all the bloody wiring up because that's just a rat's nest and it's annoying me so that's coming out that's going in I have made a lot of progress you noisy bastards if I plug this in it won't set on fire anymore there you go so we've got on screen here, we've got monitor charge, discharge, balance, storage, capacity, vibe, uh, calibrate and holder. That does nothing at all. Actually, there's not a lot that does a lot. So if I plug these in, if I put this on monitor, it'll tell me that the batteries are in. So we've got that one. It doesn't go back out of it at the minute. I've still got to sort that out. Uh, if I do charge, all the lights come on that you can't see, and it gives me the voltage, the charge voltage, the voltage of each cell. Oh, I thought it gave me the current there, but it doesn't. Uh, balance. So it tells you at the bottom the minimum and the maximum voltage, and also the difference in millivolts. Um, the status of it and the target voltage is 3.8 volts so it's got to bring all of these down to 3.88 volts and then it's done although you can't really see it there is lights actually flashing or lights coming on so hang on you still can't see them there you go so it keeps going until that's done and then it goes back into monitor now also there's a buzzer on here because when I put it on charge which I'm probably not going to be able to show you because I rewired this display the cable, I didn't like the, the lead but now it's a lot better oh incidentally I don't know if I mentioned it but it's all modular so that'll come off you can take it wherever you want F whatever there's a CR2032 there uh, battery that's for the clock the real-time clock that's on board the TNC that's actually now a TNC 3.5 which I've changed over it was a TNC 4.1 but I ran out of pins the buzzer ain't working and I don't know why I've also noticed with these things these TP4056s or whatever they are um, some of them actually go up to 4.25 or 4.27 volts which I'm not quite happy about I'm going to have to take some of the ICs off to change them over and see if I can make it more accurate than that. Um, the only thing I wish I would have done is have independent MOSFETs so as I can switch these on and off. I'm not happy with that but hey ho, I've got to go with what I've got. I've got everything near enough how I want it. I've got a couple of fans coming to keep this cool on this part here which I think I'm going to have uh, PWM controlled so as when the balance or discharge comes in which is these it'll kick in and that one will come on when it's charging calibrate does work but I'm not even going to try and explain it <laughs> it's too complex to, uh, to explain it but that does work so everything's working 
I've just got a shitload of programming to do. This is the test rig. It's now got a fan. It's got the display. It's got the chargers. It's got everything. These batteries, these are the 25Rs, the Samsung 25Rs, which I've had to re... Um, what do you call it? Reshell, recover, recase, re everything, whatever. Because they were getting worn out, I've got something for this. That, it's a box, a bag from RS. And in my bag, my bag, not your bag, my bag. In my bag, I have various components. These are 0.1% accuracy resistors. And more resistors, and more resistors. I think these are the 10K ones. Don't know, because I don't know what the colour codes are. And these... These are 33K resistors. These are the highest accuracy capacitors I could find, which are going to go in place of these. I'm going to take all these, uh, these voltage dividers out and replace them with accurate stuff to try and take out the fluctuation, which I don't know if it will do, but it will mean that there's going to be less calibration that I need to do. That's the theory anyway, so I'm doing that. Now, the other thing I've got, I've got a couple of these. Now these are sharp memory displays. Uh, this is, I think they're 2.4. What's that? 2.7 inch, 400 by 240. These are by far the best displays I have ever seen. That yellow stripe, that's actually a battery, sorry, a battery. That's actually a cover on there that you can just peel off and it's completely clear. These are a combination of memory displays, as in the e-ink e -ink paper sort of things, and also an LCD. So they've got the refresh of an LCD and the, and the low power consumption of an e-ink paper thing. We're talking microamps. It's something like a, something like a, probably about it's it's in microwatts. It's ridiculously low power. And I am struggling speaking today, I don't know why. It's what comes with age, I suppose. So these, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I've got two of them, because I can, because they're on offer. So I may use these on version 4 e-bike, I don't know yet. Now also, I found a Chinese supplier of these. This is a silicon wire that I use, which is all over here. Uh, this is all, all six core, but you can buy eight core wire. So there's different thicknesses of wire. It's ridiculously flexible, as you can see. It's just, you know. But this will handle, that'll handle about two amps, maybe three amps. That'll handle a hamp, that'll handle a hair. That will handle an amp. So if I can find it, I'll leave a link in the description for those as well. The only thing remaining I've got to do now is the complete capacity test or the battery test sort of part of it. It charges, discharges and balances. The fans are actually linked to the Arduino or the, to the TNC. So when the charge is enabled, this one comes on which calls that FET. And when the discharge is enabled or the balance is enabled, that one comes on which calls all those FETs. Because they were getting ridiculously hot but it works. I have got proof of concept now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take all them resistors off and I've got to fit all the new ones. It ain't going to be easy. I think I might have to redo all the wiring and maybe put thicker wire. This is actually thinner gauge wire than this so I may put this on. I don't know yet, it's going to take quite a long time to do it, but it's going to be worth it. 